Hey guys, it's George Blanche here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best revision technique that I used for GCSE, well, mainly for maths. Yeah, you can use it for maths a little bit, but it was the main ones are English literature, so uh, like your books, your Romeo and Juliet, your Inspector Calls, your quotes kind of thing, and then your uh, science, so chemistry, biology, and physics. Okay, so basically what you need to do is, I'm going to show you the way I did it for psychology. So basically what you need to do is start off with something like this. So what you'd probably have is for say biology, you'd have uh, biology written there, or say, okay, or physics. Okay, I say physics, I can actually think of stuff for physics. So you'd have physics P1 written on the bottom. So then in a corner you'd have forces, then maybe uh, in another corner you'd have uh, circuits, then in another corner you'd have something else, another corner you'd have something else. Like all the topics in P1 you'd have around here so like the key statements like you know flash words inside inside of it that all relate to a topic you have those in there then what you do is you time it you get well you don't need to time yourself you just try and put as much information as you possibly can as what you know about them so hopefully by the end it'll look something like this but obviously a lot neater because obviously my sh i didn't put my strengths and limitations in different colors but yeah you should end up something like this and Obviously, you're not going to get this first time. You're not going to rem re be able to recall everything. So what you do is you go over it in the things you miss. You go over in a different colored pen. I didn't have a different colored pen at the start at the time I did this one, but you just go in another color pen. You write in whatever you've missed, and then what you do is this will be the one that you use every time to compare it to, because this this would be one that's fully done. This is the, this is like my one I compare all my behaviorism. Um, mind maps too because it's the fully done one it's the one that has everything on it so then what i'll do is go onto this i'll show an example of me doing it now to just show you that it actually works i'll put this one away in a thing and then i'll just put a little like speed montage of me doing it and uh yeah you just keep on repeating it so what you did for the first one so you basically ejaculate as much information on the page as possible about the topics so assumptions and behaviorism uh, behaviorism behaviorists are only interested in studying behavior which can be measured you know the relied on lab experience that kind of thing but you don't really need you wouldn't know that because that's a level psychology but uh this also works for other, like a level things but at the moment i'm just focusing on gcc because it's easier to give an example to okay so yeah so i'm going to fill this out and i'll show you in a minute what it will come out like uh, I kind of forgot to say that <laughs> you just need to, f all you need to do is fill this out as much as you can, then relate back to that, fill that out again, hopefully you do more than what you did last time, that's the aim of it, so you like, kind of improve, that's the aim of the revision, and you keep on doing it until you get all of it, and then you don't have to do it as many times, you can do it like maybe once a week instead of like once a day, so uh, yeah, I'm going to move on to a little speed run talk.
Hey guys and welcome back after that little montage, thanks for like staying tuned this far, I'm going to try and cut that down as far as I can, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, probably hopefully like 30 seconds or something, but yeah that's basically the end result of what I had, obviously nowhere near as neat, I did miss out a few things, not much though, I missed out about the negative, positive, like def I didn't define them, should have done that, and uh, I didn't go far, far enough into the environmental determinism, over here is what I did on here so hopefully I'll be able to do that next time and yeah so what I'd normally do is go over in a different colored pen but I don't really need to do that because you guys kind of get the idea at the moment I'll do that once I finish the video because it'll take even longer so yeah you can hopefully you like understand this revision technique and I haven't really seen anyone else like do it uh, so th this is one thing that really did help me and I did use this for literature I did get, like go from a 2 to an 8 pretty quickly because I could remember all the quotes pretty much off by heart because I just think of my head and I could like pretty much <laughs> all the mind maps are like ingrained like I still remember the quote from uh, Shakespeare art holds the mirror up to nature then that kind of and you can use that for any Shakespeare poem poem yeah poem or play so yeah, uh, that's a little free quote for you, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of this revision technique. I know it's it's, it's kind of new, so I hope you guys it helps you guys, and uh, yeah, I uh, hope I see, hope to see you in the next video. This is go. I uh, just saying, I'm not dirty. I, I've recorded two videos in one day, like simultaneously. I do wash my clothes. In fact, actually, I don't. It's washing basket right there, and it's full of them. So full of dirty clothes, which I have to do tomorrow, but. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.